So guys, welcome back to the channel. So today, guys, I think we've got a lot of stories to cover this week, and I believe the first one I should talk about is probably the most severe one of them all and must be talked about very, very urgently. And it's another story that happened in the States, and you know what? It is so hard to find this story because the Washington Post, the Daily Wire, the... New York Times, it's really, really hard to find the story. And the only ones I seem to find is conservative media. I'm f sorry, I mean, I found this on the Daily Wire as well. I'm sorry, long publisher. found this on the Daily Wire and the Fox News. It's great to have these conservative trending places so we can find this information about things. And it was, um, I, I, I don't like talk about this stuff, but it's it needs to be said. So, a guy was killed yesterday, or during the weekend, and this wasn't one of those killings or deaths that involved in, like, a massive protest in Portland, Oregon. This is nothing to do with one of those. No. This was a straight-up execution murder. Now, let's go talk about what happened here. This is the guy right here, and this guy's name is... Benel Termo, I think his name is. And this is the guy here, and he's he's a nice old guy. There's nothing wrong with him. But as you can tell in the picture here, he supports a certain person or a certain candidate in the presidential election that won't be very favourable. And that guy would be Donald Trump. And when this guy got... What happened was, he... This, this guy is actually one of the nicest guys apparently you can meet. And this was on the... Fox News and there was this lady that was questioned about the uh, what was going on um, you know when he died and she says I am really annoyed that they killed my friend because he was a nice guy and this guy seemed to be a really nice guy like nothing wrong with him at all because he would be like the kind of guy who'd go around and he'd be so nice to you I mean he's African American too so you know he's black American I don't know what you want to identify him as, as yourself. Um, yeah, he, this guy would actually just go up, like, go around the city or wherever he go, lives with his massive sign, Vote Donald Trump 2020, Black Community Voice. And he's not scared. He's not scared to talk about it. I mean, he's like one of these brave black people in America that do actually believe, hey, you guys should not really be voting Democrats. I mean, there's a lot of problems with that already. So what happened was his car pulled up to his door or his shop door because he owns a bookshop, right? He owns a bookshop and he's actually one of the nicest guys you could ever meet. So he's he's a nice old man. Dreadlocks and everything. So this guy comes out the car and points a gun at his head and just pulls the trigger. That's it. Comes out, comes out the car, pulls the trigger, bang. That's it. Done. And he dies. He instantly dies. And the police was still are still trying to find a motive. I can tell you what the motive is. He's a Trump supporter. That's the problem. Because um, this guy made signs as well. He made makeshift signs. Not the ones that you get when you spend money to get promotional like from the Trump campaign or any special ones. He made his own signs. Like the one, b ones behind him there saying, Trump 2020, make sure your vote matters. And, uh, you know, like other ones there, like his big ones that sit there, says Donald Trump 2020, you know, make sure it counts, black or Afro American, so on, so on. He made sure he made his own stuff. Like, there's nothing wrong with him doing that at all. But that's probably made him a target for the left. Like a massive target. And there's also footage from an interview that happened on the day where... He, this was like maybe his last words, like last words of his life. And this was taken just a few hours before he got shot. And this is the video clip here. It's not much, but this is a few of his last words before he died. I'm from Wisconsin, Afro-Americans, community, Afro-Americans from all walks of life and culture. Vote Trump 2020. Did you hear that? Vote Trump 2020. Now, this guy obviously must have got some trouble for... I didn't realize he lives in Wisconsin. Um, 
yeah, he must have got some real trouble for saying support Trump because we know what it's like in America right now. It's fucking terrible to be supporting Donald Trump. And you've got a lot of people that support the Democrats and a lot of people call Donald Trump very evil. But if there's one thing you could gain from this whole event is this. This is really, really low on how bad America is going. Like, it's not a complete failed state. It's not like that because the, you know, the police, everyone, they're still in control. They have massive control of their cities. I mean, it's like you put the police force in, the feds in, it's not like they don't have the control. So it's not complete a failed state. But what happened with him here with Bernal was more or less what you saw in a third world country. It's dirty. It's dictatorial like. This was what the USSR did. This is what Iraq did. This is what a lot of other these socialist places did. If you said something that wasn't correct, there was more guarantee of someone coming to you at the house at night and shooting you in the back of the fucking head. In America, you don't have that. In Britain, you don't have that. In a lot of these Western countries, you don't have that worry because we are living in such a bad democracy. We don't have to worry about our own freedoms and thoughts. We don't have to think about, hey, am I going to be shot the next day for thinking this way or that way? Yeah, you might be banned off of Twitter, but at least you guarantee you're not going to be fucking shot. And if you're going to tell me anything from this whole incident is... Black America, wake the fuck up. This might be just one guy, but you're seriously turning yourself into a race war, a civil war. Because look at the guys that happened in Louisville, Kentucky. That was really weird on my view, because having all those militant groups there, that was that's crazy to me. I mean, I would be fucking scared. And that was the NFAC. Uh, the Not Fucking Around Corporation, or whatever the name is. Um, that was a bunch of Black Milton, Black Panther group in the city. And that was on people shooting themselves. <laughs> that was fucking stupid. But, just to bring a serious point here. If you seriously think you're not going to have a problem in the next few years, or you're going to have a problem with the next year or so of Joe Biden being the president... It's not the fact that he is the white guy, which doesn't make any sense. It's not the fact that he might not be the best candidate for the option right now. It's the fact that all the Democrats are calling for massive socialism ideals. And I bet shooting someone on the street for having the wrong ideal won't be that far off the ideas either. Because they never defunding the police, take getting rid of the nuclear family. That's just two of the main things they keep advocating for. And people like Benel Termo won't be the last people to survive. And they won't be the last ones to be mentioned. And I hope you guys wake up. I seriously do. Because it's going to be a little problem if you don't. So guys, thank you for watching this video straight to the very end. So I must have done something like that you've been able to watch this piece of shit long enough. So... Thank you guys for watching this video right to the end and if you want to support my channel in any other way because we are planning to go big on this channel. We are planning to make sure the left knows us, make sure the cancel culture recognizes we are a threat. Like me and many other creators, our voices are being silenced every and each day. So we must make sure we stand out to the cloud and I am going to make sure my voice and freedom of speech is going to be there too. And if you want to help me support this, we are on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Parler, and Patreon. We're also on BitChute, and we also have our own website. So if you want to know any special details, make sure you click onto the Parler app and the BitChute so we can get more content on this for the special members on those pages. And you get to see more events about what I'm doing. It's going to be a lot of interesting stuff you get to see on those things. So make sure you sign up to all these different pages where you want to get to see what I'm doing. And we could get a lot of interesting stuff going on here, guys. So thank you for watching this video and see you in the next one. And remember, hail the Empire.